13, March the 13th uh, last year, March the 13th, it would have been my dad's birthday, apart from that, it was in our house, um, was the anniversary, so-called anniversary of the Dunblane massacre in Scotland, the shooting, the school shooting, right? you might have heard of that, I don't know, mm-hmm. when teachers were, a teacher was shot and the, and the kids, mm-hmm. and that changed the gun laws in, in Britain after that, so registration of gun ownership and um, also uh, background checks for people who might want to use a gun. And I was, I was here, I was here on that March the 13th, I was up in Blue Mountains <coughs> uh, playing, singing up there at the festival there and a day or two days after that, the Christchurch shooting happened, mm-hmm. if you remember. Mm-hmm. And that fellow from Grafton, that white supremacist um, uh, terrorist uh, outside a mosque, and that changed the, the, the gun laws in New Zealand. Mm. Big gun amnesty. That president, uh, uh, Jacinta, she seems dead. I know how quite like her. Mm. Better than your one. Our, uh, our one. <laughs> our one. Better than our one. Anyway, she's good. I like her. Uh, anyway, um, that changed their gun laws as well same, in the same way. And of course, there was a big gun am- amnesty. People argue, you know, oh, well, you know, we're, we're hunting, you know, we're, we're culling deer or whatever. Can't, but if you're a if you're a, if you are a hunter or a marksman of sorts, you shouldn't need a you don't need an automatic weapon mm-hmm. to shoot you know, one bullet, maybe two. I don't know why people don't use bow and arrows if they're really sportsmen. <laughs> you know, <laughs> with no arm. If you're gonna if you're gonna you know pit yourselves against animals and nature yourself, then why not a bow and arrow? Anyway, <coughs> there you go. But uh, yeah, so that so I, I just that my I think about it. And in in the states, of course, um, the NRA they got the National Rifle Association there. Uh, which uh, basically, I, th- I, I, I think they're the military wing of Trump's Republican Party. Actually, really, they uh, they funded his campaign, election mm-hmm. campaign, by millions, and and uh, and he obviously thinks he owes them. Well, he obviously owes them something because that's what happens. You know, you give them fund parties and they you owe them something back. So he's not changing the gun laws there. But there are a lot. There's a big lobby against uh, gun ownership there in the NRA. A lot of women are victims of domestic shooting. Boyfriends, husbands going mad they can easily get a gun and kids <coughs> suicide and even accidental ones a little kid I don't know three year old found a gun it was a policeman's gun in a, in a, in a, in a, on, a on a chair somewhere or some cupboard and shot his brother you know and all this going on so and they're not ch- yeah so um, anyway there you go this is a, a bit of a song anyway uh, about tools really um, um, this song and uh, it, it starts off very quietly this song very, very quietly, this song. Um, in fact, it's already started. Uh, it, started <laughs> it started before I finished the last song, actually. So uh, I'm going to have to jump on it here. It does happen. Existential problems, you know, these days. I know. <laughs> Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Good, uh, good one, that, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, there's a whole, there's a whole um, there, yeah, thing going on, campaign in the States, you know, mums, mums against guns, you know, because the, the, the kids, the, the, obviously the Columbine shoot, wasn't there, the school shoot, wasn't there, the one, you know, festival, uh, very easy to get access to a gun, so, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, money, it is, it's always to do with money, isn't it, that's the whole system, it's funny, even on all kind of levels, isn't it, money, profit, you know, yeah, yeah. We might be care, you know, in, a, in the States, welfare system, they don't have one. It's all insurance companies. And they don't pay for everything either. But that's, an, I'll talk about it maybe in a minute. But so it's not, the whole care system is built. So when there's, when there's someone's in a bed, in a hospital bed there, and they want to make money, they're going to get rid of them. They just dump them on the street. Some people have been dumped on the streets in America. Uh, and they're not even better yet because they want to get that, someone else in that bed to make money. It's a weird system. That's, that's capitalism, I reckon. Capitalism. And uh, it's not a caring system, it's profit. And it seems the wrong way around. It shouldn't be like that. Uh, there's, a, there's a, in Appalachians there, in the Appalachians, there's um, quite, there's an old mining area, <coughs> Appalachians, you know, mining, there's quite a lot of poverty up there. And there's a British bloke who started um, a kind of camp, really, for a long weekend, camp, campment. Um, and everyone comes with their caravans, they're sleeping out, they, they're not, the night before, they're queuing up, and he's got all these doctors, dentists, all, all kind of medical experts to come and give treatment to people for free and they're packed out and there's people finding out because they, they they've got diabetes 
you know, they didn't know it because they couldn't afford to go to the doctor to have consulta. So it gets worse. So, you know, instead of nipping something in the bud, or they've got cancer somewhere, or they've got, got all their, their 10 teeth out, the dentists and the scans going on, and they, but, and it shows how much it's needed. We're fighting for that in Britain at the moment. Gets these, you know, this pharmaceutical thing. But uh, that's, that's that system. That's the way it is. I'm sure it's system in there. I, don't, I think we have to change it. We can only change it together, really. You know, us communities, really, isn't it? I think that's where it all starts. We're in your little community, that's where things happen. We're all here now, I suppose. <laughs> So uh, little little bit helps people getting together and looking after each other. My gran, I said she lived in that tower block. They had support systems there, you know. And when they other people moved out of the tower block, communities, she had a she had a, a neighbour across literally across the corridor. They put a note in each other's doors, an envelope. It, it didn't have to have, to have anything in it because all it meant was that. So if the envelope every day they do it, and if it, one day the envelope didn't go in to make sure, then oh better check on them in case they fallen or something happened. So that's a support system like that, isn't it? And we need each other for that. Anyway, look, this is a song. <laughs> um, it all covers that, really, in a way. But anyway, see so how we go. So let's start playing. How, are we all right? How are we doing for time? Am I going over? Are we all right? Yeah, you okay? I could, I could do a few more and let you go if you want. But anyway, see so how we go. Oh, okay. So what does that, does that mean, I finish at six or? Yeah. Okay, oh, I've got 10 minutes yet, okay. That could be one song, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've been on some, okay. Yeah, well I could do one about a fruit market after this maybe, I've got another. Yeah, or mariachis, yeah, I could do mariachis song. Okay, so there we go. Oh, I'll do this one, anyway, oh, shut up. Sorry, I'm blethering a lot, aren't I? Well, they, you know, that's what it's all about. Music, stories, you know. Okay, here we go. I use a broom to sweep the dust off the floor. I use wood nails to roll my boat to shore. To pull bent nails, use my grandpa's pliers, pine cones for kindling and flint for starting fire. I use a fork to turn the earth, to use a trowel to sow. Seedlings, gooseberry bushes to grow garlic, chives, rhubarb, apples and plums, but I've never <coughs> had any use for a gun. I use a hammer for banging in a nail. Hang a picture, picture shelf, I've used a bed sheet for a sail. I've used a screwdriver for screwing bits of wood together. Use my hat and coat to keep out the cold and windy weather. Use a pencil to draw and a pen to write a letter to send greetings and news to everyone. But after all this time, my itchy fingers still find that they don't have any use for a gun. I use a bucket to carry water from the well. I use a pot for tea and coffee. I love that smell. I've used my bone shaker of a truck to lug around my tools. That same old bang that takes my kids to school. I've used a knife for slicing bread to share with everyone. I used a blade for cutting tethers that couldn't be undone. But as yet, I've never felt any threat, nor terror, nor had any use for a gun. I used a sprinkling can to order my crops. I used a wood plane and chisel that were our grand pops. I built a bed that we can dream in when we're ready to fly. Chores are never finished, though we work non-stop. Mm. I use an umbrella for the rain, a sombrero for the sun. My way of life has brought me to my belief in everyone. My views and my ideas are a little homespun. You know, we've learned to make demands, yet be patient where we're from. And we've never had any use for a gun. Mm. To cook soup, I use a pot to fry beans, use a pan. A glove to stop me getting thorns and splinters in my hand. Used a bandage to stop bleeding from a gash that left me scarred. Used scissors and glue to make a birthday card. Used a railway train to bring me somewhere far. To travel with a song I might be using this guitar. Used a ball to throw the catch and to kick and have fun. Used old guitar strings to tie a loose exhaust pipe on. After all the tools I've handled, and all the wrenches I've wielded, and the poisonous ideas I've avoided and I've shunned. After all these years, despite pressure from my peers, I still find I have no use 
for a gun. There'll be no need for a gun to protect ourselves from someone else with a gun who are guarding themselves from someone with a gun who are shielding themselves from a man scaring himself and frightening everyone else with a gun. I use Spanish expressions, learn to speak another tongue. Use other words to talk in places where I am from. With other people who are patient and make me feel that I belong. And wherever I've travelled, wherever I've gone, I was welcome, I wasn't rejected or snubbed. My hand was shaken, I wasn't beaten or clubbed by anyone. I made acquaintances and friends. Luck brought us together, or we were introduced. For making friends, I found I've never had any use. For a gun. I recall my grandma's old Val radio. When Gunslinger and the Oakley sung, as she danced and her sweet voice soared, I remember that song when Betty Hutton roared. With passion and with power, I could be own mother, even sing it in the shower. But you can't get a man with a gun. I've killed midges, killed a wasp, I've killed aphids and my radish. I've killed flu germs and bacteria. I guess that means I'm not a Buddhist. I'm peaceful, I've never meant harm to anyone. If by surprise I find myself looking down the muzzle of a gun, it likes to use my fist, the first to try to use my tongue. Some will bully you for power, some will spite you just for fun. It's good to be brave, but then it's also good to run. I aim to die in my sleep, age 101. Brother, can I try to persuade you with your patience wearing thin? Not to fight a war, we all will lose a war, no one can win. Can I ask you please to put down that rifle? I've heard that some folks will kill you for an idea or a trifle. I'm, I'm sure we could all agree to differ and end up somehow shaking hands. I'm trying to listen to your worries, your fears and your demands. I've got boundaries, you've got fronties, we both have our border lines. These can change like the wind always being redefined. Prejudice is taught, young children on their way inclined. I'm asking you to try to see that hatred makes us blind. I'm asking you to try to look, to try to aim a little higher. I'm inviting you to sit and eat and talk around our fire till we're all fine. We don't have any use for a gun.